you are right now in the photography galleries at MoMA. Uh, this is uh, the exhibition New Photography 2013, which features um, eight outstanding artists working with a photographic media. And this is an exhibition series that we have started in 1985. It's a very pioneering series of uh, contemporary art, which plays a major role in the museum's uh, schedule of events. Um, and since 85, when we had the first edition of New Photography, we presented the work of nearly 100 international artists uh, to this date. As a kid isolated in high school and middle school and stuff, I felt I was living in a rural environment and I felt isolated and music helped me feel less isolated. So I think that's why I turned to music and I also wanted to make political art. So music and performance and talking to people seemed like a good way to do that. I started to become curious about how objects might function in my absence because the performance was so much predicated on like, you know, me being there, engaging with people present, which was great. But I was curious how I could the possibility of making something that would function when I wasn't there. I was invited to uh, have an exhibition in a space called Second Cannons that was in Los Angeles. It was like about this wide and it was a, the width of like a standard sliding glass door. And I wanted to exhibit three works and I couldn't figure out how to resolve them because they were a fixed size. There was a conversation about how are they made. I didn't really want to say how they were made because it took a lot of work to sort of figure them out and I was kind of like interested a little bit in the magic of it. You know what I mean? They're, I feel like they're kind of like Hollywood movie magic sort of, like they look like this thing and they're not. So, but there was a conversation about how are they made and I wanted to answer that. I didn't want to just be coy, you know, because I am kind of interested in being straightforward or whatever, but I'm also interested in like, you know, maybe this sort of like space of interest, sincerity or something where it's like, we're telling you the truth and I really mean it, but it's like sort of the way we go about it, maybe is like less direct or whatever. What you see here is a selection of the crash, what are called the crash pieces, where he crashes up to four photographic frames, one through the other. This is an artist, obviously, that is uh, very much informed by our screen culture, where you have several screens open at one time with different images. The work is political, is personal, is deeply engaged with current issues. On one hand, I was interested in these big questions of what is art, why certain works become iconic, and why certain don't. Uh, but I was as well, I think, uh, relating to my personal experience of having been a migrant throughout my adult life, having, been, having lived in different countries. I've been like moving uh, from one place to another since I was a teenager and each time I had to reconfigure my world view. Yeah? Like, we think that we live in this globalized world but actually when you, when, you have to, when you arrive to a new place you realize even within only our western world we, you have to uh, re, like, deconstruct what you know and construct like new perspective. There was no overarching theme. To me, it, mostly I was interested in the diversity of practices and some of the overlaps. But indeed, there was a certain strain that uh, stemmed out of this exhibition, and that uh, has to do with artists using, as in the case of Anna and of Brandon and of Dumbark and Shannarin and so many, Josephine Pride, um, and so many of the arti other artists, Lisa Oppenheim, so on and so forth, they are all uh, dealing with uh, photomontage, 